All right, finally. So, here we are. Everyone's a big, one big happy family. There's five of us here, five of us here, and four of us here. That's 14 total, and I'm guessing I'm not there because I'm the main protagonist. All right, what's our... Jesus Christ, really? Uh, Junko says hi to me. I don't know why to me specifically. Uh, I guess this showcases this Junko is actually Mukuro Ikisaba. This should probably explain what... Okay, I'm probably getting ahead of myself there, but... Alright, here we are. We have... Oh, damn you! I'm gonna kill you, Mukuro! I'm sorry. I'm gonna kill you, Monokuma! And then she got impaled. Bam, bam, snap through the heart. And it's like, no! And then that same Junko is actually also Mukuro Ikisaba. And... Yeah. Okay. Act 3. Dead body. To... Okay, so this is way in the future. Where... Okay, here is it. This is perfect. Getting the dead body. This looks really, uh... <laughs> this looks very, uh, whatchamacallit. Clean for a dead body, though. Boots match. Nails match. Okay. Act 4. Puts on the mask. Attacks. Okay, I know that this last one... I see I stare Peterson. It's like, ugh. I got you, you little killer. Okay, so this one. I think this one's going worse. I got the knife, Freddy! Kill ya, unless there's something that's even more specific. No, that's not it. Where does this come from? And... Huh! Hey, you! Why'd you do that? Or whatever. It's like, ta 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 And that's that scene. And I guess he's running away. Puts the dead body there, puts the mask. And, oh, okay, that makes sense. I thought for some reason that that mask he was like strangling something or whatever, but no, he's just putting the mask onto her. Okay, so this is everyone found the dead body. It's like, and I'm watching all of you. And it's like, hey, 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 I'm gonna get your ass. And then it's like, no, don't do that. There's a bomb. Explosions. And then, yeah. Let's reenact. Hopefully, this is what I actually think it happened. Oh my god. <laughs> Going all the way to the beginning. But up! We met the ultimate fashionista, Junko and Oshima, right after we all arrived here. But that wasn't the real Junko. That was actually Mukuro Ikusaba. Before us was actually the 16th student who had taken Junko's place. And that girl's name was Mukuro Ikusaba. But it wasn't long before she died at the hands of Monokuma. In other words, the mastermind, Junko and Oshima. Her body was kept in a bio lab, which had been converted into a morgue until Junko decided to put her body to use. Junko dragged the body out of the bio lab, using the tarp to carry her to the garden. She fabricated the murder to try and frame Kyoko, who proven to be one big thorn in her side. Meanwhile, she wanted us all to think Mukuro was still alive and hiding somewhere inside the school. Okay, so that last part is not cor correct then. And so I guess that's the case? That had nothing to do with that. I don't know what that had to do with anything. So are these switched? I don't know, they seem pretty similar Here's enough exactly to. Yeah. Okay, let's go back. Meanwhile, she wanted us all to think Mukuro was still alive. We got all this already. Let's just check if this is correct or not. Okay, this is correct. He's like, hey, what are you doing? Ooh, excuse me. After making sure I'd gotten a good look at the mask, she left the room.
then she put the same mask on Mukuro's body. This was all to make us think the person who attacked me and the corpse were one in the same. She all right. wanted us to believe the murder had only recently taken place. That explains so much. To the body, she was able to destroy any remaining evidence. So we found out the murder of <coughs> of Amuku Ikusaba. So at least there's that. She had to make sure but we still need to figure out the mystery behind the school. Is that correct? Met in the beginning. This is the truth behind Mukuro's murder, and the one who carried it all out is the truth. All right, so I'm guessing we finished part one of this <laughs> trial. Junko and Oshima. Holy shit, this was way too complicated. That's I needed the to be. Whole story behind this incident. Well, what do you have to say to that? What? Are you broken again? You can't get out of this, so don't even try. Come on! It's time you finally revealed yourself! It's not like you're an endangered species or something. <laughs> How long do you plan to keep hiding? Give it up, Junko. The game's over. Over? We still need to figure out the mystery, remember? <laughs> Did you really think the story would end once we reach the climax of the case? Wrong! There's still plenty more to go! <laughs> Ultimate Despair, Junko and Oshima. Oh joy. So this is the real person behind the bear. We have been waiting. <laughs> waiting so very long for peasants like you to appear. What the fuck? Who voice acted this bitch? What? That is not what I imagined her voice at all. If you swear your fealty to us. I expected her to be quiet as fuck, not a French maid. We've even drawn up the deed already. We will grant you honor, status, and some of our home cooking. Is she, what does your voice sound like in Japanese? Actually, I'm curious. Can I switch to? Uh... Let me do something real quickly. Actually, now that I think, I want to see if I can do this. First off, okay, good. I'm saved, so good. Can I change the voice acting for the main I want to see what her Japanese voice sounds like, because I know everyone else's voice sounds horrible in Japanese, but I haven't seen her at all, so... Be a bob? No, that's not it. Wait, is there no Japanese audio setting? Oh, that's interesting. I remember last time, like, when we played the- <laughs> What is Monokuma doing in the title screen now? Last time when we played through the game, there was an option to give, give me a Japanese or English setting. Uh, I guess I'll just, just review it in a walkthrough or something. But, yeah, that, like... <laughs> I, I, as annoying as Toko is, like, at least her voice kind of uh, definitely fits to her character. An annoying piece of shit. Junko in that voice, that doesn't smash at all. Have you made your choice? Will you serve under us? What the fuck? Did you think I was being serious? Sorry. Okay. I was just messing with you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, that was just- Okay. I was just fucking with my brain. Thanks a lot, Junko. It's been so long since I've had an audience. Even I'm not sure what kind of role I'm supposed to play. Okay, that actually makes a lot better voice than- <laughs> Whatever this voice has to be! Oh! Uh. So, this is the mastermind? She's the real Junko Anoshima. Anyway, looks like I've finally been set free. Having to play Monokuma all the time, day after day. It was like I was stuck in purgatory, or like a slow suicide. I get bored so easy, you know? Your face! Huh? What about my face? What's wrong with my beautiful face? 
People have told me I'm cuter than a hundred chihuahuas combined. Although, Valley Girl Junko, actually that, I think that was my original voice for like Junko when I tried to dub her, it's like, Valley Girl, so... This is actually perfect voice acting for her. I was just like, ew, I was really caught off guard with the English, the English accent. I feel like this isn't the first time I've seen you. No, I do remember seeing it. I'm sure I've seen her too somewhere. It was definitely before I got to the school. Before writing school, in the headmaster's room? I got it. Was it beforehand? That's right. It was before I ever came to this school. I remember seeing a magazine cover. And you were on it. Oh well, yeah, the face does look a lot wow. different. You have a pretty good memory. I guess that's why you've made it this far, huh? So I was right. So it's like a very lazy, despair-filled... Actually, that's pretty good voice acting, despite... Like, people may say, like, that sounds really lazy. I say that's actually perfect to her character. It's like, oh, she's bored and all of that. I was like, oh, okay. So, of course, you're gonna have to sound bored. Granted, it might not sound exciting, but it is her character, which... You have to give her credit to that. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Huh? Oh, you're talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> well, of course. Those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah. Yeah, you know, edited like hell and back with like computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. Sometimes Although I'm not sure why she's doing that, like elegant pose like that. Along. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, so wait, what'd you say? Sometimes a little lie is necessary to keep things moving along, don't you agree? That explains why she didn't quite seem the same. Because she was a different person all along. I'm me. And Mukuro is Mukuro. She tried her best. But there's just no way she could have passed as the ultimate fashionista. Two people can never become one as long as the walls of mind and body exist. Not even if they're twins. Twins! I know. It's such a cliche, right? I'm almost embarrassed to admit it. So basically... Although I think she's kind of stretching the, uh... ...stereotypical twin relationship. Although I think she is kind of stretching the, um... Oh, I'm not- I'm pretending to not to add because it fits with the character kind of a little bit too much. The older sister, tough and proud. That was Mukuro. The younger sister, smart and cute. That was... <laughs> oh shit, okay! <laughs> Maybe she just has some sort of mortal, multiple personality disorder. Now she's... And together, we were the despair sisters! AKA the ultimate despair! <laughs> is this Laura Bailey? Is this Laura fucking Bailey? This sound this voice sounds very like Whoa. She's a totally different person now. I know. Like I said, I get bored easy as hell. I even get fucking bored with myself. She's like fucking Saints Row mob boss, like holy shit. But if, if you're twins, I love kicking ass. Holy shit. Just make up whatever answer you want. I don't give a shit. <laughs> the truth's fucking lame anyway. Yeah. Junko, I know. I was like, wow. Junko was such an undeveloped character beforehand, but now she's finally revealed this is just amazing. But if she was your twin, that means you killed your own sister? And for reasons deeper and darker than the ocean. Ha! As if. Well, I suppose I'd better explain. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love this chick. For my plan to work, someone had to be able to control the killing game from behind the scenes. It might not be Laura Bailey, because I was thinking like when she was like rocking out and hardcore kind of voice. It kind of sounded like the the main protagonist, the female main protagonist for Saints Row, which kind of like the same voice actor is Laura Bailey. But now she's more calm and collected. The so-called mastermind had to operate Monokuma, keep an eye on everyone, things like that. <laughs> Yeah, she sounds. Mm. I really need to look up this voice acting. Like Junko's voice acting is fucking amazing. And you guys say English voice acting sucks. Fuck you. 
But after looking at the situation, I say, look at Junko Anoshima. She's an amazing voice. Oh shit, no, hold on. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, hold on. I'm just gonna check on who voiced Junko Anoshima real quickly because this chick is amazing. English voice: Amanda, Celine Miller, and Aaron Fitzgerald. What? Wait a minute. She has two voices? Because naturally, Aww, I would've been really impressed if... I wouldn't really impressed if it was like one voice. But it seems like... Okay, so... The third game, she was voiced by Jamie Marchie. In the video game, Aaron Fitzgerald, really? Aaron Fitzgerald and Amon, Amanda Celine Miller? Wow, she's gone to three different voices. Wait, she's appearing in the second game too? Oh, well, spoilers. Thanks, game. Huh. Leaving me behind to run off and join some band of mercenaries. Such a disappointment. Okay, so I can't tell if this is Aaron Fitzgerald. I, it wouldn't really... I, I would say, like, all the criticisms I took for Aaron Fitzgerald for voicing annoying characters, I would have just easily, like, say, okay, I was completely wrong if she just solely voice act Junko because... So, I decided to play the role of director. And have her join the rest of you in your school. But yeah, because it's two voice actresses, then I'd say, I feel that, oh, that kind of ruins the, <laughs> I kind of ruins the voice actingness though, but at the same time, like, if it was just one person voicing this one girl, it's like, that is an amazing voice act actress. I could have let her work alongside me, but she would have been useless to me that way. Besides, 15 students seemed like a solid number to start with. Of course... The fact that she was the ultimate soldier posed something of a problem. She had what I call the three atrocities. Atrociously rank, atrociously filthy, atrociously repulsive. It was atrociously clear just how out of touch she was with the rest of society. Meanwhile, my ultimate fashionista status has an undeniable appeal that I didn't want to go to waste. And that's why you switched identities? Sadly. Her inability to match my personality was even greater than I'd calculated. It was a lost cause. She was nothing more than a bit player. An extra, unworthy of lines. Being the utter disappointment that she was, anyone would have expected her to get killed off right away. Which is precisely why I killed her. To meet everyone's expectations. That can't be your only reason, can it? Well, no. Of course not. I also did it to avoid becoming bored. <laughs> okay. I've never been a stickler for following a plan to the letter, you know? Okay, no, 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 no. I take back everything I said. You're annoying. Please shut up. Please don't continue. Please. If I planned everything out and knew just what was gonna happen, that'd be so boring. Oh, no, Aaron Fitzgerald. You were doing so good. Why'd you have to... Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. So much no. No, no, no. Mukuro's death was a one-sided, premeditated act of betrayal, just as I suspected. When Mukuro was killed, she must have been as surprised as anybody else. Uh, shut up, shut up. Pulling off such convincing performance, but she teach you an available lesson, don't you think? Okay. I'm just gonna switch until she does it. Okay. Okay, Aaron Fitzgerald, you're you're a good voice actress. When you're not annoying as shit, please continue that other roles instead of all the goddamn annoying ones, please. You talk like that. You sacrificed your own sister. How does that not even bother you? What? I said. Well, well, you got so hot in the collar. This is gonna be scary. Ultimate there. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Okay, maybe it was too. a dire kill. So okay, okay, we can do better, blah blah. Despair, so it's his advice. You just okay. Your own sister and didn't think anything of it? Because she's a bitch. That's not true at all. Okay. We were twins. How could I not be sad? That's why it gets me so excited. Killing my precious sister with my own two hands. That act is filled with so much despair. You can't help but put a super in front of it. It's like super, 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 super despair. No, more than that. Super, 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 super despair. No. 
more than that. Super, 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 super. And then just uh, like shows her like super, 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 super and then it's like, that's okay. What the hell is wrong? She is with you? one twisted sex partner. I will tell you that. And my sister too. In that moment of death. I think she must have felt that despair. After all, to be murdered by your own sister, and only as an example to someone else, she must have died living such excruciating hopelessness. I'm so jealous of her. Super jealous. She really likes the fucking despair, huh? I knew you couldn't be just some ordinary person. You're some kind of abnormality. Turning your own despair into some kind of fetish. Yeah. Abnormality doesn't even begin to describe it. Like, genocide Jill is crazy for sure, but this is a whole nother level of nuts. I mean, I, I kind of argue that genocide Jill and Junko is equally as fucked up, but okay. But then again, at the same time, genocide Jill has not actually committed any murder so far, so... I guess one point for the saneness, the uh, for her saneness for Jessica Joe. You're saying I don't compare to some lowly beast that can only kill the weak, right? So I'm hopelessly attractive, hopelessly brilliant, hopelessly athletic. I'm the hopelessly perfect ultimate human. No, I don't think there's anything perfect about anything you just said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Way more okay, you shut up too. Because you're yeah. technically also voiced by Aaron Fitzgerald as well, aren't you? Uh, I should really not look up the spoilers because holy shit. What did you just say? What do you mean by that? <laughs> you still haven't figured that part out yet? <laughs> Man, you guys are so slow. That's not Monokuma's voice. Monokuma's voice is a lot different than that, isn't it? You haven't even solved all the mysteries, and yet here you are, yap yap yapping away. Are you talking about? God, Mono? Junko imitating, imitating Monokuma is somehow more annoying than Monokuma himself. Jesus Christ! You've already solved this mystery, right? I'm the killer. So how about the next one? Maybe you should solve the riddle of your missing memory. Then you can start gloating. Damn straight! That's exactly what we're going to do! We're going to solve all these mysteries! And then... We'll have our victory! <laughs> I can't wait! Alright, then let's just get straight to the point! One... Oops, sorry about that, Yasiro. When the lurid pictures were taken... And those interviews... It must mean... I got it! It must have something to do with our entrance day exams! No fair! At least give us a hint! Your brains are like sponges! All grippy and leaky! I already gave you a hint before! All the memories you lost share something in common with a few other things! Do you? Thinking back to Monokuma told us... The memories that were stolen from us. We'll figure it out after the break. Stay tuned for the next episode of Danganronpa.